And now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to North Manchester, Indiana, the crown jewel of Hoosierdom, the Firehouse Community Concert Center. Coming to the stage right now, put your hands together for Good Night with Christopher Blue! Hello, and welcome to Good Night with Christopher Blue. I'm Christopher Blue, and we have a wonderful show for you tonight. But before we get started with that, my cameraman Drake has a wholesome question of the week. What have you done to help someone today? All right, so please answer that question in the comments below. Moving on to the episode, um, we are going to talk about TikTok, we're gonna talk about uh, river cleanups, and all this is on this Tuesday night superhero night. So we need my superhero co-host, Reverb! Now, Reverb, um, would you say you are an expert on fitness? No. No. So we probably should get someone who, uh, who, uh, who is more fit um, that, that could carry stuff out of rivers. Um, yes. So would you like to introduce our special superhero guest? Come on out, Citizen Tigger. <laughs> Tiger, Citizen Tiger. Um, Weaver there wants to get some revenge. Uh, hey, Reverb. Yeah, hey, Reverb. Thanks, Reverb, why don't you uh, trade Tiger positions and... Uh... How you doing, Tiger? Missing you, buddy. Yeah, we, it's, it's been a little while. Well, Tiger has this mic, so that mic is for you. <laughs> um, spicy, it's, spicy. It's been a little while since we've seen each other. Um, yeah, it has. Let's see. Too uh, long. Yeah, way too long. Um, what was the last thing we did together? <laughs> was it the river cleanup or Hope? Oh, uh, I'm sure we've done a river cleanup since we did a Hope in 2020. Um, well, you guys did that Hero Week in Weaver. Yeah, we did Hero Week and we saw you on Hero Week. So was that the last time we, we got together? I don't it know. has been. It's been a rough year. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it's, it's good to have you now. Um, it's good to see you. You are out of uniform right now. You, you just removed it and presented it on this table. Yes. Um, when we met, you were very secretive about your identity. Um, but since then, that has changed. Um, would you like to state your legal name? <laughs> Uh, we're just going to go with Tiger. All right, that's fair. That's what I go by on TikTok. That's what I go by on most social media. So, All right, so we'll go with Tiger then. Um, so what what got you started in real-life superhero work? I like to ask this question. Well, it started out with that documentary, you know, with, with Dale, uh, you know, old superhero, with uh, uh, Mr. Extreme, uh, some of the classics. Yeah. And... I had just watched that when I was taking my daughter for a walk, and at that time I was in a wheelchair, and she found a drug user. And, you know, that as a father pretty much wrecked me. I didn't even realize that we had that kind of problem in the neighborhood. And this was at a public park, mind you. So what ended up happening was, you know, despite the VA telling me I'd never walk again, uh, I came up with a plan to build up strength in my core and lower back over time so I could do something about it. And, uh, you know, all three kids have been along the, for the ride. And uh, despite there being a divorce, uh, which is part of the reason why it's been a rough year. Right. Uh, and, and I have full custody, which takes some of my time. Um, They've been along for the ride and been a part of it. Uh, they're the ones who gave me my name. Yeah. They gave me um, that name because they each have had a stuffed toy tiger. And 
uh, they thought it would be a, a good superhero identity. So, yeah. um, I guess it just felt like the right thing to do because I read too many comic books as a kid, and I needed to do something about my neighborhood. And since then, what, 13, 14 years later, we're still at it. Yeah, yeah, we sure are. Um, so, one, I like to focus on one subject on these superhero episodes. So, for us, um, we've done a few river cleanups together. That's kind of uh, what what's kind of been Tiger's thing when, when yes. people... Um, think about you is, is the river cleanups. Um, what is the most interesting thing that uh, you have found while while doing a river cleanup? So, in the town I live in, there is a river that runs straight through the middle of this uh, thirty-five thousand population town. And previous to getting permission from the city to do this, don't. Don't just do this on your own. Um, you want to be qualified and trained. Uh, I had crossed so many bridges in that town, and it just looked like a river. And there was a section kind of off to the left of the center where in a four-hour period, we hauled 100 tires out in that four-hour period, over two tons of debris and mostly tires, uh, that I never realized and had driven past many years in this, what I thought was a clean area. Um, and other than that, that couch. Yes, um, I was there for that. Yes. Um, and if we could find that clip, we'll, we'll play it now. Afternoon, everybody. This is how we started our morning. This is how we do it. And we had uh, Animal here for motivational music as well. Bonjour, monsieur and mademoiselle. <laughs> so what we have here, six, one, two, three, four, five tires, sorry. Uh, a bag of trash, a lot of glass in there. Use hefty. Hefty, uh, hefty, hefty. Uh, John Cena and Animal approve <laughs> uh, for glass. It stretches and it doesn't cut you as you're dragging it along. Hashtag not a sponsor. <laughs> Might be someday. I was gonna hit him up. Uh, now that we're going for a nonprofit status here, uh, but this was Operation Land Canoe. See the wagon. Um, Ooh, the wagon. Yeah, yeah. So it blew the wheels off. <laughs> I'm sorry. You said a couch. Couch. Much like this. Where is it, it now? Yeah. Oh, it's. Do you still have it? At the How dump. Much? Yeah, it's at the dump now. <laughs> so like five bucks. One more time. So like five bucks. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so what a lot of people don't realize with river cleanups is it takes a massive physical effort. If you walk a half mile up the river or a mile up the river, whatever you find, you've got to haul that half mile and mile back, and. That I needed another strong back. I needed Chris, <laughs> and he volunteered to help. And luckily, with that particular cleanup, logistically, we had a bike trail. So I thought, because I scouted it out previously, which you always want to do, we took my kid's poor wagon. <laughs> we put this water-soaked couch, which people think couches are light. You soak the cushions, you add another 500 pounds to it easy. So... Chris and I had to take this 500 pound nightmare and lug it up a hill from the river to the bike path where we had the wagon. We got on the wagon and then what was it, about a three quarters of a mile? About, yeah, yeah. To the dump off point where the city was gonna come in with their magic bucket. And, and that's, that's why river cleanups are such a hard task is you gotta haul it back. And then uh, I was, I was there for one of those cleanups, and... Yep. Yes, the uh, one by the bridge, with the four of us. Yes. That'd be another great picture. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the suction of, yes. of mud and water. I it's, have a special pry bar that I've named Matilda. <laughs> it is a 20-pound breaker bar for prying things out of the, the bed of the, the river, and... To say it takes a lot of leverage, 
is an understatement. Because <laughs> once you get it, once you get it popped out, now you've got this. I'd say Five about water, so about what 150 pounds? Oh, yeah, easily, yeah. Full of sediment, and then you got to smack it on the river floor and use the water to wash it out, and then it's manageable. Yeah, yeah. It, it's definitely no easy task, um, but it's important. It's it's one of those things that uh, we we spoke about uh, litter pickups. Um, I believe it was last week, uh, maybe a couple weeks ago. Uh, we'll, we'll put that episode in the card. Um, and, and, you know, same vein as, as river cleanups, um, you know, it, those are jobs that no one really thinks about but are very important or else we get piles of trash everywhere. Correct. I take my kids on trash hikes. And now whenever they see it, they'll point it out. And I keep, I have a toolbox on the back of my truck. I keep a bag of trash bags and just... Mm just because the kids might see a McDonald's cup where we parked. Right. <laughs> so it's, 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 a, it's a family activity that could be nurtured, yeah. including river cleanups. Now, you've been on some river cleanups with me when I had the kids, and there's others that are more dangerous or deeper that I, I got a sitter or left them with mm-hmm. my, at the time, wife. Um, and for that, I want to thank you because no one should ever be going into the river theirself. I'm just... Thick-headed enough to. <laughs> oh, so you've done a lot as Citizen Tiger in, in the time that you've you know been active as a real life superhero and even before. But uh, what would you say is like your favorite moment from being Citizen Tiger? Like what 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 when, when you think about everything that you've done, what's the one moment that you just hold dear to your heart? Chicago Hope 2019. I was thinking this was going to be the story. Uh, you're going to want to play the song that rock yeah. uh, and uh, some others did. We'll put know. a link to that video in the description. Well, according <laughs> to that song, you did most of the work. Yeah. But <laughs> it, it was a massive effort. It, has, it was the biggest turnout of real-life superheroes ever um, for Chicago. Um, so many great moments. We had uh, members of the Extreme Justice League that had never met all in one location. Uh, all of, almost all of Cali had made it out. Well, no, it was just Night Nightingale. But then you had Florida who came up, you know, uh, Impact and... Um, Jaguar. My, my fellow, my, my cat brother from another mother, <laughs> Jaguar. Um, you know, from the Bay Coast Guardians down in Florida. We had people from Canada. Um, we had some oldies and goldies, some newbies and... A U-Haul truck full of supplies, and we got most of it out. And everybody got pizza. Pizza is important. <laughs> well, that was the first year that we had a little bit of excess, and we figured, you know, since people were hauling weights around effectively all day, 13-mile distance, you know, we yeah, got to give them more people. than... <laughs> animals. Uh, we got to give them more than just a bottle of water and a granola bar. Right. <clears throat> and we paid for that, so... Yeah. And luckily, thanks to TikTok, we've actually paid for not only this year, but next year as well. Well, and that, that's a wonderful segue. You're great at these segues. Uh, so you are kind of big on TikTok right now. Um, 110,000 followers. Yeah, so what are you doing over there? Well, it's a little bit of everything. Uh, you know, comedy, fitness, inspiration. I do a lot of fundraising. Um I don't get a lot of payment out of it. You know, you can make a little money doing it. I do have a merch store. But um, I think to date, if you put Chicago Hope and all my other charity endeavors into it, I've raised uh, between thirty-five dollars and $40,000 just from October to now. Thank you. Uh, most of it involving my truck. Either I'm pushing it, I'm pulling it. Like at Christmas Eve, I push my uh, Chevy Colorado um, a mile uh, often I will put a, a limitation of I will pull or push or whatever my truck uh, one foot per dollar uh, I just finished a competition this 4th of July where I won a belt we have a champion in, on the team very nice um, 
we called it Victory or Valhalla, and I have to tug of war my truck one foot for every dollar, and it's going to be 1,600 feet wow. I've got to pull. Wow. Okay. So. And, and just to backtrack on, on what you were talking about, I always love to use you as an example of, you know, you can do whatever you put your mind to because you went from, like you said, being in a wheelchair, yes. being told that you would never walk, let alone run again, to you're pulling trucks for charity. Yep. <laughs> like, that is amazing. And I, I always use you as an example of, um, you know, you can do whatever you put your mind to. Patience, inspiration, and the right motivation. Um, so, again, going back to TikTok a little bit, um, off camera, we've spoken a little bit about uh, wordsmithing. Yes. Um, so what exactly is wordsmithing? Well, you see with the algorithm, there are certain things you can and cannot say. You cannot say suicide. You have to say unalive. You can't have a sword in a photo because there's a lot of cosplay that happens. And there's so many great communities on that app, and it's, it's, it's done a lot for me. But there's just, just as much as there is a light side, there is a dark side that likes to report these things. And the algorithm locks onto this, learns from it. Like, I can't talk about World War II people who wore the half mustache. Right. You get what I'm putting down? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. It's that. It's, uh, uh, and I have a beef with them where uh, I create, came up with a term in one of my comedic bits that's not a unicorn. <laughs> I also have a bunny. <laughs> but uh, it's Control-Alt-Right-Delete, which was just something that fell out of my mouth. Now, my, my grandfather's Jewish, and I had a lot of these pinwheel collectors in red armbands that like to goose them hmm. uh, who were really harassing me and I don't like bullies I, that's how I got this scar on my lip when I was five that's kind of why I got into self defense and all these other things um, so I decided to choose violence but in a verbal way because I was in my house and who knows, who knows where they're at so I wanted to make my Jewish grandfather laugh Unfortunately, he's dead. Oh. <laughs> Unalive. Unalive. <laughs> um, so I, I, I made an announcement, and I, and I lost the account before I could launch the shirt. But I said I was going to put that on a shirt, and I was going to donate all proceeds to the Jewish Holocaust Museum in his honor. And to date, I think we've raised, I want to say it was $385 the last time I checked. Wow. Um, but there was a period there where I was being mercilessly attacked and I've lost the account. So if you ever see an account on TikTok, realize if it has a number next to it, they've lost an account. Hmm. But the algorithm always remembers you. Okay. And so do people. And um, with each account, kind of like you know, the force, I got stronger and stronger hmm. every time they tried to strike me down. <laughs> so... You know, in the last year, I've, I've been unable to do as much as I wanted to because the, the kids and working and everything have kind of prevented me t from doing as much as I've wanted to. And for that, I apologize to you and the team. But at the same and time... I, I guess I, I do need to express this. Citizen Tiger is actually the leader of our team, um, the Heartland. Um, we have collectively raised a, a lot of money to do a lot of good, um, and um, and so when he's apologizing to the team, it's because he's actually the leader of our team. So, well, you guys have taught me a lot of humbleness. <laughs> but um, there are other ways. Every time I hit a wall, whether it be walking, whether it be uh, outreach, whether it be um, dealing with my own mental health, um, there is always a different way. And with everything on TikTok, I was hoping to shed a light on things. Because there's that saying, we got to break the orbit of our community because otherwise we're just preaching to ourselves. We got to get it out there. And that's why I'm here today, Chris. Uh, I'm proud of you. Look at this. <laughs> Wayne's World beats... Conan O'Brien. Yeah, yeah like it's kind of what we're going for. I like the blue. Yeah. So, 
where can people find you? I gotta turn this back to you. Where, where can people find you? Uh, of course, TikTok at Tiger Bomb 4.0. 4.0. Now, as you said, um, that that means you've had three accounts previously. Yes. Um, I've actually seen a Tiger Bomb 5.0 out That's there. That's my backup. Okay, so that is yours as well. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, so we will link your TikTok in the description of this video. Okay. Uh, is there anywhere else that we can find you? I have a uh, YouTube as well. And um, I'm debating other platforms. Huh? Uh, I, I try to stay off of Facebook. It got a little toxic. For me. Yeah, yeah. You do have a Facebook page, Joe Citizen Tiger. Yes, um, I do. So if you happen to post on there, you follow him on Facebook as well. And I'll do the same for you. Oh well. <laughs> thank you. Um, thank you so much for for coming on, Tiger. No, uh, it's mine. It's been an honor watching you grow, man. <laughs> well, thank you. Wait, wait. Let, let's embarrass him. Oh no. Do you remember when you first moved down here from Michigan? Yes. I, I, too, was going through a divorce and, and yes. dealing with that. Yep. And you remember that first meeting we had? Mm-hmm. I was very apprehensive about you. Yes. Yes, you were. I'm so glad here we are today. Yeah. Well, I appreciate that. Well, what is it that you just obtained at work? Uh, a promotion? Uh, like a, a, just a certification? Yeah, you do uh, certification. Yep. I'm, what is that? I'm a QMA now, a qualified uh, medication aid. And what was it we first talked about? Uh, me pursuing the medical career and all that, yeah. But why? Because uh, it would help me in the real-life superhero career, yes. How is this my show and you're interviewing me now? What is that? What's happening? Round of applause, everybody. <laughs> Uh, well, again, Tiger, thank you so much for coming on. Uh, that's our show. Thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Don't forget to ring that bell so you get notified when we upload new content. Until next time, good night, my sweet baby angels. I'll see you tomorrow.